For making you will need these parts. Prototype universal PCB board, 4 tact switches and 4 color LEDs, piezoelectric buzzer without oscillator, 4 resistor, value can be from 200 to 500 ohms for 5 volts power supply, pin headers and brain for this gadget is Arduino nano board. First I'm gonna place the tuck switches and LEDs, the schematic and source code you can download from link below. Next I'm placing female pin headers for Arduino Nano and piezoelectric buzzer. On Arduino Nano I'm gonna solder male pin headers, so later I'm gonna join with my prototype boards. As I say, on Arduino board I'm gonna solder male pin headers. Next is to solder resistor for each LED. With this isolated thin copper wire, I'm gonna make the connections from Arduino board to all components. Next is to program the Arduino with the sketch code that you can download from link below. Our LED game Simon Says is finished and Arduino Nano is programmed. Let's join them together and play. That's it for today, don't forget to share and like, visit my channel page and subscribe. HDMI cable for interfacing with your monitor or TV. USB micro SD card reader that support up to 128GB flash memories. And in kit is included 32GB SanDisk micro SD card which is super cool. Power adapter that give 5 volts and 2.5 amps of current. Raspberry Pi plastic case for protecting your mini console. And Raspberry Pi 3 model B Plus computer board with HDMI output, micro USB powering port, 4 USB connectors, internet port, wireless and Bluetooth modules built in, quad core 64 bit processor, and 1 gigabyte of RAM. These small head things also are included in kit. They are self adhesive and you can place them on Raspberry Pi chips and have much better cooling. Raspberry Pi can be a computer, a weather station, there are a lot of projects online, but I'm making Raspberry Pi a retro Pi game console. 
First I need to write RetroPie image on my SD card and you can download RetroPie from link below and I will put links for how to install RetroPie on Raspberry Pi board. After installing the RetroPie and adding some games, I have plugged in the micro SD card with RetroPie software into card reader of board. With HDMI cable I connect with my TV and I have used this USB Nintendo controller which is amazing. Now let's play some games. I hope you liked today's review and if you like great holiday gift, Raspberry Pi is an amazing toy. Let me tell you something about mini arcade game console that I built it and it's amazing little gadget that reminds me on those old games in 70s and 80s. So for cheap price I built my own retro arcade game console that is portable, pocket size and look incredible. All components are soldered on universal printed circuit board. As I say on this board I am placing all components for making the game console. You will need the brain 1885 chip and cost $1.50. OLED screen is 128 by 64 pixels and cost $3 from eBay. Buzzer, push switches, resistors and battery cost another $1.50. Total about $6 for making your own mini arcade game console that I built it at home. In next minutes, enjoy how I built this mini portable gadget. All details about the code and schematic check the original article in link below. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Do you remember of this toy called Tamagotchi? A handheld digital pad. Yeah, that was awesome toy back in time. But today I'm gonna show you how you can build it with Arduino board. For making this gadget you will need these parts. LiPo battery charger model with micro USB connector and small LiPo battery is attached on model and remember to replace the resistor for lower charging current if you don't want to damage the battery. 3 micro tuck switches, you can buy them new or like mine who are pulled out from junk parts. Next you will need passive buzzer that means without oscillator. This is OLED display, organic light emitting diode. It's 128 by 64 pixels and all parts I have purchased from eBay and in description below I will add all links. And of course you will need smallest Arduino board called Arduino Nano with USB interface. All parts will be placed in this plastic case from earbuds that I found in my junk. 
first I'm gonna make some cuts for display and tuck switches. Now I'm placing all parts and securing with hot glue gun. Must be mentioned the author of this project is Alois Jaco who came up with this gadget, Tamaguino Dino Virtual Pad and sharing this awesome project. By the way, in link below, I will add his website with all details, schematic and libraries that need to be installed. As you can see, all wires are soldered between modules and my Dino Pad is finished. Let's power up and see how you can play with this digital pad. It have a lot of functions such as you can feed the Dino with stack or apple, even drink water. You can play a game with Dino, take it to the sleep, it have a doctor when it's feeling bad and tell how it all it is. I hope you liked today's video, if so, please share and like, take a moment, visit my channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.